so hello so in this video actually we want to do a different question that is known as replace characters now replace character what does this mean let's see it means that let's take this example i have this character let's say character array where i have written a b b like uh, c d okay now we'll be there at the last let's say wherever you see b wherever you see b you replace it with x you replace it with x so wherever you see b you replace with x so we will be given two character arrays, uh, character uh, characters, right? So you traverse in the like let's say this is your input input traverse until unless you're gonna find your null character. Okay, traverse you're like okay hey a is equal to b no b equal to b yes replace b with x again go here a b equal to b yes replace this with x is c equal to b no is d equal to b no you come at the end and you are like okay i have already found my null so i can stop so your output should basically be a x x c d okay this is the question that i want you guys to first try okay very simple very very simple okay just need to search hey, if in case b is present like right now we're just taking b you can take any character you want okay if b is present replace it with x if b is present replace it with x if no b then it's fine you can just go on okay so you try it now after you have tried, we will do it properly, okay? So I hope you would have tried it, you have tried it. So let's just start with it, how we should do. Okay, so very simple again. Okay, this part is simple, right? This part is already known. Let's even comment this out, the first part. Okay. Okay. Where are we here? Okay. Just taking the input, just taking here, this thing, okay? Come here and then let's get the uh, function as like get and I'll get and then give your replace character replace character we'll put an input we'll give what we need to uh, like replace so let's see character okay let's say we want to replace b with character this okay Make sense so we want to do this right okay so how we'll do it let's give here a and b that means we basically want that a will be replaced with whatever is in b what is containing what is uh, in b x right so we want this okay so let's just implement uh, it it's very simple very very simple let's go and then implement here okay so literally obviously it's not written anything just come here you are getting an input array so which is a character array so input character array you're getting entire into b Mind you, these two are different. Ends right, you right, right. So we have the second is characters. Then this is gonna be characters. Okay. So what I want to do is, I'm like, okay, no problem. Let's go till the end. So obviously, till the end, how? Input of i not equal to this. Where is it? Like this. See. Okay. And what we need to do here? We'll be like, okay, I check the input of i. If that is equal 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 a. Means what is in a? a is containing your character b right a is containing your character b if it is equal to b replace it with x so how will you replace it like in case if that's the case then you make that i equal to whatever is in b simple right okay and as soon as you come out of the loop everything will be fine and we would have replaced all the characters with x okay so if i make this int i equal to zero we'll start from zero right Afterwards, let's do it. Just after this has been done, let's just your the value. It's your the value of input. Okay. So as here, we have we're gonna replace b with x. Okay. Obviously, very simple problem, right? Very very simple problem. Let's just do it. We will replace b with x. So let me give here um, a b b c d. And let's 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 give them like this. Okay. Okay. So we are expecting these three b's to be converted to your x. And let's give one more b here at the end. Two b's. Okay. So all these b's will be con converted to x. Okay. So sorry here. One thing we are missing. We are not increasing the value of i. So we need to increase the value of i as well. Right. Because or else we will always be doing an input of zero only. Right. So. Let's increase the value of i as well. Come here, how do it? We will do this a b b c d p b 
D. Okay. So this Bs will be uh, replaced with X. Okay. What else is the error? Let me see it properly. Why would a file go to now? Okay. This has to be done even in, at every case, right? It should be out of this if condition. I'm really sorry. Okay. See, we were doing we were actually incrementing in, in, incrementing it here. That means if this is not equal to a, then just don't increment it. That's wrong, right? We need to increment it every time, right? We should be outside here. So let's do it now. We should be fine with this. Yes, let me surely fine. So it should be a, B, B, C, D, B. Okay. So all the B should be uh, converted to X. Okay. I hope it's making sense, right? Very simple again. Very simple program. Just for forgetting this I plus plus. C I plus plus will be basically inside your loop of Y, but outside your if. Because although even if the character does not match with whatever is kept here, but I need to always do I plus plus, right? Okay, so I hope this is making sense. Very simple program, right? So let's just as for dry run, let's just take a small example. A B C D B. Okay. I came here, hey, is it equal to B? No. Here, here is where it's containing B, right? And B is containing X, right? We know it. Is it equal to B? No. Then just go on the next character. Is it equal to B? Yes. Replace it with X. So this will become X. Go I plus plus, go to the next character. Okay. Go to the next character. Is it equal to B? No. Then go to the next character by I plus plus. Is it equal to B? No. Afterwards, get go to the next character. Is it equal to B? Yes. Replace it with X. So replace it with X. Another character. So through this line, just come on with this loop and just print this value. I hope it's clear, right? Okay, so see you guys in the next videos. Okay, so see you guys there. Thank you.